welcome back to the next instalment of System Active's XR series. My name is Phoebe. And my name is Dominic. And today we're really excited to share that we are showcasing Lenovo's first ever XR headset, which is the Think Reality VRX. Dom, do you want to just get started and tell us more? <laughs> yes. Right, so yeah, we've got the Lenovo VRX, which is definitely an enterprise-focused headset. It's a mixed reality headset, so we've got two cameras on the outside here that pass through the real world so that we can integrate that with the digital. And it's good that it's got two cameras because that's going to give you a depth perception that some of these single camera pass-throughs won't do. And then a lot of the sort of things we, we like to look for, so it's got very highly sanitizable materials, which means these can remain clean and sort of have a multi multi-use, multi-user life. It's got inside-out tracking, so you won't need any kind of external tracking systems. It's got a long battery life. Um, it will operate as a PC VR headset, uh, and it can tether just by a standard USB-C cable, which is super practical. It's really well built. I've got to be honest, it's probably one of the most comfortable headsets. I was going to say, it really looks it as well. I think just these two side bits here where it's connected, it really looks a lot more sort of sustainable than some of the other headsets it seems to be there. Definitely. I think with our IT experience, Lenovo build durable products. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. So really good from all, from all those standpoints. And, and who is sort of the best sort of use case for this? Who would be using it and what would they be using it for? It's still going to be lots of the same use cases we've talked about before and predominantly at the minute that's training mm -hmm. or kind of onboarding of staff. Um, also visualisation of anything, so designs, um, products and that you know brings in sort of rapid prototyping. It's a lot of the same sort of use cases but I think where this has a real edge is that it's really built for the enterprise environment and um, so it has a single sign-on integration it will integrate with Microsoft Intune and that's I'm, really good well I, I think they're ahead of the curve here and they're not the only one um, but I feel like this will become more and more important as at the moment there is a little bit in the market there's people buying headsets and sort of making exceptions where they'll create a network or they'll just use them off of a hotspot on the phone because right. they can't get them on the standard network and I don't think that's sustainable I think because we want people to use these more and more it becomes really important that they can integrate with IT and IT can manage them just like any other laptop or tablet. Yeah, it makes sense for Lenovo as well, where they've got the PC background as well, to be able to sort of tie the two in together in, in that sense. Definitely. And then, yeah, they've actually got their own MDM that comes free with the headset, which will just give you really good manageability without the extra costs. And yeah, all the kind of integrations they've already done with, with platforms that, that you know we need them to, Unity, Unreal, lots of 3D modeling software platforms. I imagine they'll lead the way in keeping integrating with more and more mm. business software so people can just sort of plug and play. So yeah, from, from that point of view, I think that's a real where its advantages come in. Yeah, that's really good to know. And it seems like as well, this is obviously another vendor that has just released a new headset. And I do think obviously from our experience when we have conversations with potential customers, they're a bit standoffish with it, but it really is sort of showing that it is the future. All these mm. major, major vendors are sort of putting out new headsets and, and getting them on board of the sort of immersive train. I definitely think that, you know, get in touch with us now to find out how you can sort of get involved and utilise it for your business because it really seems like it's going to be the future. Definitely. It's a great point to stop and say that. Well, you know, we're evolving all the time. It's not just about selling headsets and, it, and we, want, we really want to encourage people to move away from it. one disposable use case and yeah. that's it. One bit of training and that's it. These will integrate with, with businesses on a larger scale at some point. Get ahead of the curve now. Find a use case where you can get undeniable value. You know, if you can do a bit of training in here where otherwise you'd have to be in a dangerous environment, mm -hmm. great. But then, then you've bought into the headsets, then you can start expanding your uses and um, continue, you know, grow from there. And yeah, we can help and advise on all of that. So it's a good point to bring up. And yeah. It's a good point for us to say that. Maybe. Definitely. We aren't just the hardware supplier. We can sort of hold your hand through all of that.
So uh, we just got asked if we ordered food to the office, but it wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> we should have taken it. Yeah, we no. should have taken it. I don't know what you say. Yeah, we will hold your hand through the whole process, and so will the vendor as well. They will support. So if you are interested and want to find out more, look at potentially a proof of concept of the headset, then do get in touch with us on online at systemactive.com. We are vendor agnostic, so we have got some other videos in our series if you want to check those out. And we can also help with all aspects of IT too. So definitely reach out to us, we'll be able to help you out. Yeah, get a demo. Get a demo. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hey, bye. bye. <laughs>